with a direct lower star stream. I respect that whack, but you telling me, and I'm 50, I'm going to have to look at the video. You telling me them niggas wasn't up in that bitch. They was not in there. God damn it. Hey, well, say it one time for me. Say on Pyru. They wasn't in there, bro. I got to put that up, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> them niggas just get, listen, bro. Listen, them niggas literally have a license to kill. I'm telling you what that. Hey, that's a fact. That's a fact. Them niggas got yeah, like to kill, bro. I'm, that's crazy. Everywhere that's crazy. them niggas is at, they can gun you the fuck down and wait on the laws. Shana is legal. I mean, it, I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying. Now, now, let's, now, let's get to the, 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 the grits of, of it. Let's get to the grits of it. 40 Glock from um, Colton. That shit's 80 miles outside of L.A. Right? Right. Now, none of them tied into all the right people. You really think if a nigga come playing with him like that, bro, it wouldn't a, a man wouldn't it wouldn't have been an issue, bro. You cannot believe no shit like that. I mean, I, I, and I'm gonna say this, whack. I'm gonna okay. keep it a buck. Okay. What, 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 what we saying? You talking about a nigga that run around with half a million walk. in a duffel anybody bag, can touch that. bro? You anybody missing, can touch that. Right or wrong? Missing the point. You talking about a nigga that's run around begging a nigga to give him a distribution deal? The nigga. And run around with a duffel bag with a half a million just because it's there. Facts. You tell her you really and that that's tied and connected to all of us. You really think if a nigga were to play with that man like that, boy. I feel you. And maybe, you know, I feel you on that. You know what I'm saying? But a nigga life only costs fifteen hundred out here on the West Coast, right? Man, that's the net. It's getting cheaper now, too. It's getting cheaper now, too. It's getting cheaper, too, because it's cheaper too, cause we just had tough times. <laughs> bro, so you know, the, you know the come up if a nigga, yo, here go a quota, man. Get rid of that scratch for me, man. It's that scratch for me, man. All right, so what? Now I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I appreciate the conversation. Now, let me ask you this. Man to man, fuck this club out shit. I'm going to DM you. Um, I feel like you are you 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 are respected, um, whether it's from a street standpoint or whether it's being able to gather, you know, the attention of the clubhouse. And um, on some real nigga shit, like, why we can't, you know, and, and, and I know you'll keep it 100, but we got real niggas out here that have control. Like years later, like I, I moved to Georgia in '96 because of all the shit that was going on in Chicago in '96. That's when yeah, it was yeah. mm -hmm. So when I moved down here, I tried to get away from what I thought was the bullshit. But why, why, like when they say the OGs and they left us out, why we can't get no OGs like you to represent what you represent? Get some niggas from the side and represent. Why we? I, yeah, I, I never niggas from the side. What you mean? I never in my life. I never it's thought in my niggas life. Niggas from the side. Joe, Joe mean? Capone. Joe Jones. Oh, for sure, Joe Joe Capone. Joe Joe's still out here, man. Still accessible. We, still we, right we need there, to, bro. Yeah. We need to tap it on. My him. man, Promise. You know, Promise. Nothing. He's still right there, my nigga. Like it's, I mean, when I put my call in up there, when I call, he's still right there. And they crushing got the it, youngest around the shot. They just, too. they just all oh, yeah, crushing from the side. Yep. Um, they just, they doing what they doing, bro. Like them niggas is still on the street. The youngsters, I didn't watch the youngsters. Nigga go from eighteen to motherfucking thirty eight over the last twenty years. Right, niggas got businesses and niggas is doing what they do. Right. Joe Joe travel the world every motherfucking year and come back home. He ain't no, not in Chicago, it. bro. No, I see what you're saying. I see what you're going. And down in yeah. down in Atlanta, it's the nigga. You know, you got a lot of New York presence, a lot of Atlanta presence, um, and shit like that, right? But it's enough influence in Atlanta right now today. That's why the business is going strong. Yeah, but the streets done fell off. The niggas ain't saying nothing, bro. And that's I why mean, I say you ain't. I keep you telling y'all why you focus on the streets when the internet is dictating the business. Mm, that's a fact. You don't have to have street credibility no more. Not man. at all. All you got, you the, the world is what's streaming. It's no right. more how reputable he is in the streets. Don't nobody give a fuck about that. One bit. One bit.
Right. I'm just being real. And then, see, right. you no, change it, and y'all don't, don't, don't want to change with it. Say that again, though. That what they need to changes, and y'all don't want to change with it. Okay, so let me ask you this, Wack. Um, with these individuals that's on the internet and popping how they popping, how they popping, like, is these niggas serious or are they capping? Bro, this okay, is, listen, right. slow down. I want you to hear this, right? I want you to hear this. This is the entertainment business. Do you ask Denzel, why is you playing a cop, then a gangster, then a snitch, then a hitman? He is entertaining. WAC 100 is an entertainment name. My cool. gang filed my homies. They don't call me fucking WAC 100. This is an entertainment business that you <laughs> niggas want to bring your grimy project block shit in here and say, no, y'all going to be this. No, the fuck we ain't. We're going to come on here and we're going to entertain because the street that's niggas it. in here know that some shit we can't talk about anyway because that's not entertainment. That's the street. Right. Niggas be taking this shit, yo, bro. Niggas be taking this shit like the building is supposed to change what they do for the rules of the streets, but the streets need the building. The building don't need the streets. Facts. Nigga, that's why they got actors and entertainers. Big facts. Big facts, whack. And the problem is when the niggas from the streets get an entertainment contract and they get their first check from the entertainment company, they want to run back to the streets. Rico, you gone. God damn it, you had a job. That is a job, believe it or not, when you get a contract, you just got a job. Go to work, nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Did you say they get paid real well? Very, very well, legally. The fans can't come get you nothing. I mean, if you signed a deal and got them run back to the streets, you a bozo. Bro. This what they do. I'm glad you, you gotta understand this. This deal. what they do. <laughs> and then look, you over here broke with niggas, right? The niggas is telling you we gonna rob little Tomcat because he heard he hit the lottery for twenty thousand. We heard his mama did. We gonna get the nigga top. We gonna rob him. You go over here, do a deal. Go live. Yeah, nigga, I just got two million. You go buy a bunch of jewelry in the car and come right back to the projects. They was just finna rob Tomcat for 20000 Either you gonna go give all your money away to these niggas and not have nothing left for yourself or your ass finna be little Tomcat. What the fuck is you doing? You hustled on the block to get off the block. You can't take the whole block with you. That's a that's a that's another thing because I just seen contracts that I didn't you know what I'm saying downplay because I wasn't ready for no contract earlier. Uh, as soon as I got out of high school, we had uh, contracts from YouTube and everything like that based off of our views, but we wasn't ready for no contract because we didn't understand. If 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 I'm going by natural literacy, yeah, you know what I'm saying. This real shit, like bro, like like on some real shit, like when you get out, you get out. You pull the ones up with you who got some type of business or some type of something about themselves, right? Man, look, man, I want to do this. I want to do that. Empower them. Go in business with the nigga. And then when he make money, he can pull some more of his people out. You bring three people with you, empower them three people. They can go pull three more people out. Those three people can pull three more people out. Then the nigga on the west side doing it. The nigga on the north side doing it. The nigga on the south side doing it. The nigga in Atlanta doing it. The nigga in Cali doing it. The nigga in New York doing it. Florida doing it. Texas doing it. Bro, over a period of three, four, five years, we start to break the cycle. It ain't gonna happen overnight. We ain't breaking the cycle. Young Thug, everything he was helping, everything he could help, is over with. Now he can't even help himself. The nigga had, his mansion is empty. Why? I don't know where the OG's at. Where the OG's at? Why do you have to move out his, hey listen bro, how old are you? I'm 50. 
You are OG. What, what you doing? Where you at? That part. Hey, I'm in Atlanta. Listen, I, I run a radio you station. Busy, nigga, you older than me, nigga. Right, right. And 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 and, and I respect that. But I'm a I'm generation saying, behind you, nigga. I'm five year gap from you. So and that's cool. And and, and what I'm gonna say is the reason why you are as successful as you are, because you had OGs that told you what to do. You listened no, the at fuck some point I didn't. you bumped your head, no, but I then didn't. you got right. No, I didn't. My OGs was glorifying us put their work. And you did. And I was in the penitentiary at sixteen, nigga. So you learned early.